Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. Hi, my name is Onye and I'm a Lagos based YouTuber. Yeah, so today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how I edit my Instagram pictures as well as walking you guys through my recently launched Lightroom presets. Yes, so I'm so excited about this video. The last time I did a video like this, I think was 2020. Yeah, I think it was 2020. And with editing my pictures, I always get asked that question of Kiyechi, how do you make your feed look clean? How do you edit your pictures? Your pictures look good. People ask me how I edit my videos, but guys, I, when it comes to colors for my videos, I do the minimum. Sometimes I don't do anything because it's honestly very stressful to color grade. So sometimes I don't even bother. And I recently just learned how to color grade. So my videos, from 2021 down when not color graded i just started color grading in 2022 yes so i'm going to be walking you guys through how i edit my pictures of course i edit my pictures using lightroom presets i recommend them totally that's how i learned how to use lightroom i got presets and then i would put presets on pictures, then modify it, okay? Sometimes all those settings can be confusing. You just want a particular feel for your picture and you don't know how to achieve it. One of the best ways to do that is using Lightroom presets. So these are mobile presets, so use them on your mobile phone. I edit my pictures on my mobile phone. Honestly, even my thumbnail for YouTube, I edit it on my mobile phone. So I'm all about, you know, quick editing on phones. They are, it's quicker to use, okay? Like it literally takes seconds for me to edit pictures. A lot of times I'm editing pictures like before I go to bed at night um, and, you know, in seconds, minutes, few minutes, I'm literally done editing my pictures. It will only take long if I have like a lot of pictures to select from and then edit. So my Lightroom mobile presets pack, this is the second one I'm launching. The first one I launched it with my sister. So it's a pack of four presets, but this one that I'm launching now is a pack of three presets. And the presets are currently what I've been using on my feed. So I'm not very uptight with feed arrangement. You know, put one picture here, put one picture of coffee, put one picture of that. No, I'm not about that. But how I'm still able to have a decent feed is by using consistent presets. So I have presets that I just play around with. One of them I added to this pack. So the thing was that with the last presets pack, I didn't include the exact presets that I was using. I added a modified one, but this one, guys, the exact preset that I'm using for my pictures is what I'm going to be sharing in this particular video and it's also included in the presets pack. Okay, so I use Lightroom mobile app. That's the only app I currently use to edit my pictures, except I need to crop or add text and I'll use Canva or InShot. Yes, but for colors of the pictures, to how the picture looks, aesthetics wise, I use only Lightroom Mobile. Okay, so are we ready to go into it? I have my phone here. I'm gonna walk you guys through the presets, how they look, and also how to tweak the preset to suit a particular picture. Because we all know that photos taken with different type of lights come out differently and also at different daytime. So if I take a photo in the evening, it's gonna look different from when I take a photo in the evening, like maybe using artificial light or when I take it during the daytime. So you also need to know how to tweak this preset to fit you know what your feet should look like okay so let's get into it so i take most of my pictures on my iphone 12 pro okay even my reels i film them on my iphone 12 pro my new camera is majorly for sit down videos like this for youtube or for vlogs and always some vlog videos i make with my phone so i'm gonna go into the lightroom mobile app Gonna let it load oh this is the last picture i edited the picture of my macbook pro yes so we're going to just go through a couple of pictures and i'll show you how to tweak the preset play around with it great so the very first picture i'm going to be editing is this picture of me i took this at chai tang i really love this picture i just posted it on my feed earlier this week so now let's do the editing so the preset pack has three presets there's 001 002 and 003 Guys, which one do you think is my preset? Like the one I use currently? Um, do you think it's one, two, or three? <laughs> Anyhow, so I currently use 001 and I'm going to paste this on the picture and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Great. So that's how it is. So this is like the before and this is the after with it. So I don't like to do so much with my preset and I honestly recommend that. So because presets are meant to make a picture more beautiful, not alter a lot of things about the picture okay so this is how it is um i think the picture 
on its own was quite dark okay so i'm going to come to light settings here and most of the time people usually swipe the exposure and you know increase the exposure when they want to be brighter but i'm going to come to the curve here the curve most people don't really know how to use this but i'm going to come to the what's it called this is bottom bottom left so the bottom left the second dot there and i'm just going to take it up a little bit so you can see the difference is making so this is me taking it down you can see that it's the contrast is high and the blacks are really black so i'm going to take it up a bit so this way my pictures look very 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 soft i love soft pictures to be honest okay if i feel like oh, okay the contrast was tweaked a little bit i need more contrast in the picture i'm going to tweak the contrast here so I'm going to increase the contrast. Okay. Um, another thing is I like warm pictures. So I might increase the temperature just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go into orange. The colors go into orange and increase the saturation. So saturation is currently at minus 15. So I'm going to increase it. Yes. Just because I want my skin to pop here. So this is how. This is like before and after. And also pretty much what I posted on my feed so 001 is what i use for a lot of photos of me because i love how it makes my skin look okay and i just honestly this is one of my favorite presets to use photos of me i use 001 and yeah so if you're looking for a preset to use on your dark skin not dark skin let's say like your yeah your african skin that like your melanin will still pop because i noticed that when i was shopping preset from a lot of um, influencers abroad um like when i use it on my pictures i look pale so i have to do a lot of tweaking to bring my skin color back up yeah so this is for 001 i'm gonna try 001 on another picture okay so next i'm gonna try 001 on this particular picture i took this picture this is in my room so this is using artificial light the first one was in natural lights so now let me open up my presets and then let's paste 001 guys you can just see that it makes the black in this picture really really pop so the only thing i think i want to tweak here is i want to drop the contrast a bit just to make the picture soft okay um yeah i think that's the only thing i want to change i love how the colors are i feel like i look quite red so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to orange and then i'm going to change the hue to be yellow a little bit more so we can see that you know i'm starting to look like yellow going to green kind of um yeah so i'm just going to increase the hue to like eight and i think that is honestly perfect so this is another picture using 001 presets okay so let's see how it looks on abstract things like let's say a photo of a shoe or an environment let me find one for you so i have this picture of a meal that i had um i think this was at slice lagos yes i think this was at slice lagos the restaurant yeah so let me go to preset let me paste zero zero one oh it looks so good but this is food and i feel like the yellow in this picture is off a bit so what i can simply do is i'm going to come to colors I'm going to go to yellow saturation is very very down so i'm going to bring it back up so you can see that you know the yellow is still retained a little bit it's going towards orange so i'm going to bring the hue back to yellow green side i'm going to drop the hue rather increase it rather yeah so i like how the color looks now it's better than before you can see before after before after so i like how it enhances the picture but it doesn't really alter so many colors and that's what a good preset to me should actually do okay so that's it for 001 we're gonna go to 002 and i'll show you guys what it looks like okay so for 002 i'm going to be using this photo i took of myself in this dress from desiree yama the label yes yeah, so let's go let me paste 002 so guys this preset gives gothic it gives like dark kind of vibe so if you don't like really bright and shouty photos this is definitely for you so i love the colors i love how it turned down the color of the dress definitely if i want the color to pop more i can still tweak it um it's dark but it's also soft i don't know if you guys can see it but it's dark and it's also very soft so i love this um you can see that my skin color is altered a little bit but it's not too far from the norm if i want my if i want my skin to look like more popping 
more yellow i can definitely tweak that okay so let me try another photo still on this preset okay so next i have this photo i also took at chai tang but this was ending of last year so i'm gonna go to my preset and i'm gonna paste 002 this gives a very like cinematic i don't know if you guys know it gives a very cinematic kind of vibe the brown it makes your photos brown like if you're a brown girl that loves to look brown you know this presets definitely something you want to get okay um i love how you know the blue you can see the blue of the sky here is still kind of retained everything just looks dark and calm dark soft calm is what we're going for in this particular with this particular preset so if i want to tweak anything i think i'm going to play with the contrast a little bit and i'm going to drop it even further yeah so the picture is just softer yeah so i absolutely love love this preset okay so like we did last time i'm going to try it on an abstract picture yeah okay so this is abstract but not too abstract but let's see how it is with this picture of me holding the asm beauty body butter um so yeah let me just drop this can you guys see it's very very dark and i actually like how it is so for this one i feel like the photo itself is quite dark i'm going to tweak the exposure just to make it brighter okay and you can see that you know the colors are there um i would love more yellow a little bit more in this photo so i'm going to go to yellow and i'm going to increase the saturation of yellow and i'm going to drop the luminance of yellow i'm also going to bring yellow the yellow to the yellow side like increase the hue okay so i feel like yeah that looks a bit better so i honestly i love this preset when i'm going for like a dark vibe on my page i'm definitely going to use this preset because i feel like it's just the the bomb <laughs> so for this preset i'm going to be using this picture i took at slice lagos last year yep so cool let's go into the presets now this is 003 guys this preset is just so soft it's giving like i feel like if i travel when i do travel i'm gonna be using this process on my pictures a lot because it's giving like destination vibes kind of um so this is really really nice um it's also very soft okay um i love the fact that it looks like there's a film over the camera kind of that was used to take the picture so i don't know if you guys can see it gives this kind of like haze to the picture so if I want to tweak anything, I'm going to increase the contrast. Okay. Um, yeah, pretty much it, to be honest. This preset is gorgeous. Um, imagine this in like a pool. Do I have any pool picture? I don't think I do, but imagine this like in a pool and you just, you know, paste this preset all over. The color of the water is going to be given because this gives like um, a greenish blue, greenish like cool. Yeah, kind of like tone to your preset yeah so let me try this on another photo okay so i'm gonna come a little bit closer and i'm gonna show you what the preset looks like on like a close-up picture of me so this is 003 on me right now so i honestly this is very very different okay let me see how it will look if the picture was darker so i'm gonna drop the exposure okay and this looks very it looks very you know sexy don't know if you know i don't know if you can see it yes um what's that tweak in the colors um let me see let me see let me see i'm gonna drop the temperature a little bit make the photo like cooler just a bit okay and let's go to colors like the main colors now so when it comes to orange i'm gonna take orange a little bit the hue and i'm going to drop the saturation just because the hair is red it's making like the whole photo red and i'm going to increase the luminance a little bit yes when it comes to red hmm, red doesn't look so bad but i think it's fair i'm gonna drop the saturation a little bit more yeah so i like this one this is giving it's not like a conventional edit like everyday edit okay i don't know why this is giving me album cover kind of like edits yeah but i absolutely love how this particular preset came out let me just quickly do a run through let me see on this close-up picture of my skin let me see how the other presets work so this is 001 this is like hot i will definitely drop the saturation for this picture and then i would also drop the contrast this is 003 now nah, guys i think the natural picture is just giving it's just hot so all the presets on it i just just have to follow suit so yeah so i think it looks good so this is 001 002 and 003 
all of them are different pictures and all of them all of them are different presets and all of them are given so now let's move to something abstract for 003 right okay so now i have this picture of scented candles and room spray this is from sandal bloom so let me go to the preset and let me put 003 oh guys this is giving i can't see it's giving night vibes like this is so calming okay i can imagine a whole feed with this type of picture it will look so pleasing aesthetically like guys so so pleasing um so let me see what other presets look like on this so this is 001 mm, it's giving it's making the picture like a little bit dull yeah this is 002 also giving like night vibes and 003 just you know tops it so you can see that turquoise like film over the picture it's 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 beautiful so while i was scrolling through i found a picture of me at the beach so i'm going to go back to the picture and see what the preset would look like okay so this is a picture of me at landmark beach let me use the preset this is 003 like guys can you see how the clouds look can you see how the tree looks the sand everything is just now nah, home girl is pleased home girl is pleased with this preset it looks very very good my skin color is also not lost in all of the editing going on let's see how it looks with 002 mm. i like brighter pictures for brighter presets for like the beach so not really and this is 001 i would definitely tweak the contrast of this and also tweak like the curve to make it softer i feel like it's a bit dark with this but 003 tops it for me is making me even look happier and i just love it guys so that's it for how i edit my pictures the presets pack is available and the link to shop is in the description box so this presets pack the three presets go for 15 dollars but because it's launch week i am going to be giving this preset for 10 dollars this week so it runs for the next seven days okay you can get my preset just at 10 dollars so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you learned one or two things about how I edit my pictures. I basically use presets, presets that I have created. I feel like the whole process of editing from scratch is a lot. Even when I have new like look for pictures, I don't do it from scratch. I simply just modify preset. So the preset that I modified to get this current one was body jar from the first preset pack. So I use it on a picture and then I started tweaking it, looking for ways that I can modify it to please what I want at the moment. So when you change locations to, you might have to change your preset just to fit, you know, the lighting. If you change your lighting setup, you want to tweak your preset. When I move from sort boxes to LED lights, yeah, I did. Um, I had to change like my preset because, you know, the pictures coming out were a whole lot more like crisp with sharp lighting. So I was always thinking soft pictures, soft pictures. But with like my sword boxes, I got like soft pictures from the camera. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't 50k is the goal for the year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Yeah.